the Westchester Skating Academy. We are awaiting the start of tonight's contest between the Sleepy Hollow Edgemont Valhalla squad and uh, Harrison Huskies. This is Jerry Fishoff. I'll bring you the action tonight. And first, we're going to start with a uh, little uh, hello to uh, Coach Janelle Barr, one of the co-coaches, along with Josh Wolfson, to tell us a little bit about the program. But first of all, congratulations on an excellent season so far, and make sure you tell us about the upcoming playoffs as well. Excellent. All right. Okay. Take your time. That's right. Can you hear yourself? You can't hear yourself. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Um, it's been a very, very satisfying season for us in uh, League 3 this year. Uh, we've uh, come through a number of uh, injuries, uh, but the kids have played their hearts out. Um, we've had good turnouts at all our practices, and uh, we're just very proud of the hard-working dedication uh, that this team has done. It looks like we're going to be another scholar-athlete team, and uh, we have a couple of more games to go in the season. Uh, hopefully to solidify our our uh, place in the uh, sectionals. Uh, upcoming games, we have um, uh, we have um, John Jay coming up next Sunday, which would be February 16th. Uh, we have a makeup game against Brewster that possibly could be on Tuesday um, at WSA here, or it could be at Eversol on Friday night, the 14th. And then the sectionals, which we're in, uh, open up on Monday, February 17th. So it's going to be it's a successful season. Uh, we're entering a team in the WSA Spring uh, High School League, and we invite all players at Edgemont, Valhalla, and Sleepy Hollow to come on out for that team, uh, which, which begins play around March 1st. So that's about it. That's a wrap for us, and uh, let's uh, have a good showing tonight. Let's have a good showing tonight against Harrison. From uh, the Westchester Skating Academy. We're about to get started, but first, we're going to honor the seniors, graduating seniors who have played uh, on the team. And uh, across the way, Looks like uh, Mr. Uh, Shalemi over there. Aaron Gottlieb. He gets his uh, flowers. I think uh, he's going to bring over, over to uh, mom, uh, Diane. And Kevin Shalemi. One of the uh, four uh, Shalemis who have played, uh, if I counted right, for Sleepy Hollow Edgemont, or, or at least Sleepy Hollow. Some played before the combined team. And uh, Andrew Mason, who uh, had a back injury, and uh, but he's out there, and uh, that's good to see him uh, skating. And uh, the three seniors uh, who have uh, really uh, worked hard and uh, made these... Uh, T this team over the last four years are really out one of the outstanding teams in the county. And now uh, we're going to have the uh, playing of the national anthem and sung by uh, Diane Gottlieb. So we'll uh, focus on her, then swing over to the flag, and we'll be ready to start soon. She's getting there, guaranteed. And here we go.
a thrilling rendition of our national anthem, Diane Gottlieb. We are set to go. For the Huskies in Maroon, they're coached by Steve Forzaglia, assisted by his uh, father. And uh, they will start with Scott Goldblatt in goal. Defensemen are Dan Siegel, number 11, and Brett Alcantara, number 16. The uh, forward line, Mike DeRio, number 15. He'll center for Andrew Golden, one of the captains, and Pat Heggie, number, fi number five. Golden is number eight. They come into the uh, game uh, with a 3-10 and ten record. They lost earlier in the season to Sleepy Hollow Edgemont Valhalla, whom we'll uh, refer to as uh, SEV for the most part. 6-2, to two, and Frank Scalia scored a hat-trick in that goal. And for Sleepy Hollow Edgemont Valhalla, they are starting number one in goal, who has been out for quite a while. Uh, after suffering an injury and out most of the season, but Alex Engelson is back, the junior back for the playoffs. On defense, it'll be Matt Garrow, number five, Dan Maladosi, number 11, and the starting uh, line is uh, at least scheduled to be Kevin Shalemi, who was also an assistant uh, captain, the uh, senior whom you just saw get the flowers for his mom, uh, he's at center, and he'll be centering for 16, Eric Kopicki, and number 14, Neil Quinn. And Neil Quinn did an excellent job in goal, filling in for Engelson. Well, Harrison wins the draw. And uh, we should also add that uh, the Sleepy Hollow Edgemont Valhalla squad has a 6-6-1 record. They've lost four in a row, or maybe five, and back from injury is Scalia and Engelson, two of their best players. And uh, Scalia, before he got injured, was up there in the scores, and I believe he led all defensemen in uh, goals scored. Here we go with the action. Kopicki sends it in. That's him, number 16. You can see we're behind the screen, behind the uh, glass. Good uh, view here at uh, Westchester Skating Academy. Kept in at the point by Garrow. They can't hold it in. From deep, it's sent in by Maladosi. Kopicki comes out to get it. Garrow with it. Long pass to Aaron Gottlieb, who's now out. Gottlieb is out with 28, Mike Rapp. And number 79, Tom Del Nero. Puck went over the line. It's icing, and it will be a faceoff. No score. 13:34 left in the first period. We play three 15-minute periods, and should there be a tie this year, there is overtime. I think a four or five-minute overtime. Uh, Sudden death, should that, should it come to that? We haven't seen it uh, yet do that. And Harrison carries out, sent forward. And this will be, no, icing is called off. Referees, James Mettler and Tom Ciccatelli. From the point, a weak attempt by Alcantara. Couldn't get his uh, stick on it, comes all the way down where goalkeeper Goldblatt lets it go by. Gottlieb should be able to intercept this one, and he does it. Nice play by Krista Pauls, and a shot, and a save. Shot taken by uh, David Fraioli. Fraioli, the uh, younger brother of the former Harrison Husky goalkeeper, Steve. And uh, Krista Pauls, number 23, the uh, younger sister of Bobby Pauls, who for so many years, and uh, all-league player for Harrison. 12-13, left in the first period. No score. Going back for it is Pauls. 
Looking for the intercept is Kevin Shalemi. Cross ice pass to Kopicki. Kopicki winds up, shoots, and it's wide to the right of Goldblatt. From the point, Scalia has pushed off the puck, but he manages to dump it in. Sent forward by Pauls. Kept in, no, he doesn't. Garrow, nice try. Sends it along the boards, intercepted. Center ice, Dan Siegel, the defender. Intercepted by Scalia. Scalia looks for Chalemi. Goes over his stick and is picked up by Alcantara. Good checking in the near boards right in front of us by Mike DeRio, the first line center. Alcantara has it. Cross ice to Siegel. Intercepted and sent forward by Maladosi. Dumped in behind the Sleepy Hollow Edgemont Val Hallinet. Gottlieb has it. He's making a run. Coming down the far side, Andrew Golden. Golden, he's stopped by Engelson. And it goes in on the rebound, I believe. And I think that goal was scored by Golden. We'll get all the scoring uh, between periods. And time of that goal, 10.48 left in the first period, and it's one nothing in favor of Harrison. So Harrison scores the early goal. Puck came loose. Here's Golden again. He dumps it in, intercepted by Scalia. Sends it up in the air into neutral zone. Tom Prano on the line now with uh, Gottlieb. And 21 is Andrew Hofgartner. Fighting in the near corner for the puck, and we may have a penalty. And we do. We have an interference penalty at 10.06. Let's see who goes in the booth. Interference, and it's Frank Scalia. So power play opportunity for Harrison, who already lead 1-0. Taking the draw, number five, Pat Heggie. Interception by Tommy Prano. Harrison comes in offside. Shot goes wide by Siegel. Play in the corner. Good check by Maladosi. Play behind the net from back of Engelson. Shot by Golden. Rebound shot by... Freoli, I believe the referees blew the whistle, and maybe the uh, players don't hear it. They uh, And we're going to get a couple guys going into the penalty box. Okay, so a pair of penalties. And the teams will play. Should be somebody else uh, coming out or coming on. They'll play five against four. It'll still be a one-man advantage and a power play for Harrison for another uh, 106. On the double minor, roughing. Good playing on the uh, on the penalty kill by young Matt Garrow. That's he with the puck. Matt Garrow, only a freshman. 
And the puck comes into center ice, where it's picked up by Neil Quinn. And Quinn returning to the ice after doing that marvelous job in goal. Shot is stopped from the point. Golden stop, golden shot stopped by keeper Engelson. Engelson may have been a little rusty on that first goal, but looks like he's warming up now. Cross ice pass goes off the stick of Heggie. Sent forward, looking for Mike Gentili. This is Alcantara, who'll get a lot of uh, ice time. And the high shot is stopped by Engelston. Sends it around the net on the near side. Heggy crashed into the board by Quinn, and Quinn is going to get called for penalty. The penalty to the first penalty to Scalia is over, and Quinn goes in. And I guess that's uh, roughing or boarding. Time of that penalty, 8.34 remaining in the first period. Of course, the SEV fans thought it was a good penalty. And here we go on a power play. Power plays are 1 minute 30. On the faceoff, Mike DeRio out there on the penalty kill. Kevin Chalemi, who is one of the best on that, along with Dan Maladosi, Aaron Gottlieb, and Frank Scalia. Mike DeRio has it. He sends it forward. But the puck is intercepted and cleared by Gottlieb into center zone where Krista Pauls has it. Paul sends it across to Alcantara. Alcantara dumps it in. Comes across in back of the net where it's picked up by Scalia. Scalia can't get it out. DeRio catches it, sends it down, but it's intercepted by Scalia. And he tries to clear. He can't and sends it over the bench. 53 seconds left in the penalty. You're watching the educational access stations of Sleepy Hollow and Valhalla. Uh, Sleepy Hollow and uh, Edgemont. We uh, do not have the games up in Valhalla. We'll try to do that next year. 7.57 remaining. Puck is dropped by Chicatelli. Gottlieb looking for the break. Gottlieb makes a great move. Alcantara knocks it away momentarily. Gottlieb goes down. Shalemi can't get his stick on it. And it's picked up by number eight, Andrew Golden. Golden comes cross ice from the slot. He shoots. It's wide to the right of Engelson. Golden fighting for it. Now it's Dave Fraioli. Sends it across ice. Paul sends it down to Golden. He seems to be everywhere. Fraioli was standing in front of the net, but the pass never got to him. 17 seconds left in the penalty to Quinn. Good defense so far, and they manage to clear, and this should do it for the penalty as the puck comes right in front of us. Alcantara sends it cross ice to Pauls. Pauls shoots on goal. Weak shot, picked up, and stopped by Engelson. 7.02, the penalties are over. All penalties are over the booth. Penalty booth is cleared, and it's a one-goal lead for the Huskies. Facing off, Fraioli and Gottlieb. As Jimmy Quigley, 19, and Maroon comes on a little bit late. Buck is kept in. This is Garrow. Can't seem to clear. Quigley shot. Rather, Fraioli shot. Excuse me. Six and three-quarter minutes left, and Engelson picks up the puck on a bouncing shot with Kalasako right in front of the net. We'd like to express our appreciation to County Appliance in Stamford, Connecticut, and to Greg TV in New Rochelle for supplying tapes and equipment for these games. Big check by Eric Kopicki. Puck comes down. Stopped by the goalkeeper. No icing. Sent around the far boards. Garrow comes in. He picks it up. Waits for the uh, clear. Del Nero sends it in, and Fraioli, 
I'm sorry, Frioli is no longer the goalkeeper. It's Scott Goldblatt, stops it, sends it forward. We have a race for it. Number 22 is Frioli, 34 is Charles Solberg. Siegel, and whistle on the play with 6.01 left in the first period. It's 1-0, Huskies over SEV. We're at the Westchester Skating Academy. And this actually is uh, our first uh, telecast here for the SCV team. Face-off, just about at center ice. Harrison seems to be winning the face-offs and another penalty looks like it's coming up. And it may be, uh, well, I'm sorry, referee indicate. Yeah, it looks like a penalty. We'll wait. Well, there was a, uh, it's coming, the uh, face-off is coming all the way down to our left. Then I guess there's no penalty. From the point, Scalia, sprawling save by the defender, Golden. Golden playing an outstanding game so far. This is Golden with it. Looks like he was held on the play, but Maladosi gets away with one. Maladosi sends it along the near boards. It comes out, picked up by Tommy Prano. Prano sends it forward to Hofgartner. They have Shalemi in front of the net, but they can't get it to him as, Hof as uh, Hofgartner is uh, double teamed. Hofgartner comes back to poke the puck away. Nice defensive play by Hofgartner. Getting back quickly on defense after being all the way down the ice. Scalia sends it down, intercepted by Siegel. Maladosi overskated it, gives the opportunity. Shot is wide by Dorio. Into the corner goes Heggy. Dorio, Heggy, and Golden out on the uh, first line. Good check as Shalemi goes down. Hard to take him down, but Alcantara did just that. Out to the other side, kept in by Gottlieb. Quinn in back of the net looking for it. Instead, it's being skated out by Dorio. Dorio, very good skater. Teams change on the fly. Long pass, Gottlieb comes up with it. No look pass. Nice give and go from Mike Rapp, sent in. Deep by Maladosi, chasing is Tommy Prano. Prano, nice check on uh, Dan Siegel. Maladosi, he takes a shot from way out. It's way wide. On the chase is Mike Rapp. Gottlieb comes in on it, but uh, it's taken by Harrison right in front of us, stopped by Scalia. Scalia takes a shot and a save by Goldblatt. Gottlieb tries to thread the needle and save by Goldblatt right in front of us. Well, we got a good view on that one, Nick. Nick Romagnano on camera, Jerry Fishoff here uh, calling it for you, and Jane Ampel at Sleepy Hollow putting it up on the Educational Access Station, and Rob Ross doing same for Edgemont. Garrow comes in, pokes it ahead. Christina Pauls gets it over to this side. Coming in on it is Solberg, 34. He keeps it in. Nice play by Charles. Tommy Prino sends it in back of the net. Alcantara picks it up. Stolen by Solberg. He can't keep it in, though. This is a delayed offside. Offside called off. Pauls has it. Over the stick of Gottlieb. Picked up by Gentili. Stolen by Gottlieb. Gottlieb skating in. Gottlieb all along. Hey, Gottlieb! And he puts it in. Wow, what an exciting play that was. For a moment, I couldn't tell whether it went in or not. Gottlieb. And I'm sorry, folks, I wish I had the total for Gottlieb because he has so many goals, not only this year, but in his career, and I apologize. 
uh, for not getting that. But Gottlieb uh, will get the assists on it later. It may have been unassisted. Boy, he worked hard on that. Nick thinks it's unassisted. Somebody may have slipped in the puck at uh, center ice. Here's Golden once again. Golden sends it to Heggie. Heggie's shot. It's a little bit wide, but held on to by the goalkeeper, Engelson, back in the nets for Sleepy Hollow Edgemont Valhalla. 2.50 left in the first period. We're tied at one. You're watching from the Westchester Skating Academy. Mike Dorio stays on the ice. Takes the face off against Shalemi. And a great save by Engelson. Looks like he's back to his form as Heggy had the rebound on his stick. Or it might have been Dorio. Couldn't tell whether it's five or... Uh, Peggy or 15 Dorio, but this is a pretty uh, potent uh, front line. A kick play, and uh, fans get a kick out of that one as Dan Siegel couldn't get his stick on it, but he uh, chipped it up uh, like a soccer player. Golden, he's checked hard by Kopicki. Kopicki using his size. Here is Kopicki, slips it forward past the stick of Quinn. Kopicki and Quinn on with Shalemi. This line can hit. This is a big line. We'll call him the big line, the, the number two line. Uh, actually, uh, they're the starting line. It's the number one. Engelson has a little bit of a problem with it. Maladosi sends it forward to Quinn. Quinn knocks down Krista Pauls, who should have gotten called for interference, but she didn't. That's somewhat of a mismatch. This young lady against Quinn. Actually, it's anybody against Quinn is a mismatch. Here we come the other way. Here's Maladosi. Maladosi has got leap in front of him. He holds on to the puck. This puck is shot forward by Hofgartner. So, uh, Del Nero standing right in front of the net, waiting for it. But it's picked up instead by Siegel, and we come the other way. This is Jimmy Quigley, sends it down into the corner where it's taken by Scalia. Scalia gets it over on the side boards. It's picked up by Del Nero. Del Nero, checked from behind, loses the puck. Alcantara picks it up. 56 seconds left in the first period. We're tied at one. Here's Maladosi again. Maladosi gets it over to Hofgartner. Hofgartner to Gottlieb. And it's Gottlieb has it again. He shoot, goes high this time. Trying to beat Go Goldblatt. Goldblatt wins this one. And the score is remaining 1-1. Maladosi sends it in and deep. Where Del Nero has it. Gottlieb with a backhanded pass trying to center it. Goes off the stick of, uh, actually, that was uh, Fraioli. Puck high in the air. Hofgartner. Waited for it to come down. Had actually had a good opportunity there. And it's cleared all the way down. No, it's not all the way down because Maladosi, who seems to be everywhere today, intercepts it. There's seven seconds left in the period. Here's Maladosi. Time for one last shot. He takes a slapper from the mid-ice. mid, mid, uh, mid -ice. The period runs out. We've had an exciting period. It's one-to-one -one at the end of one. Well, I know you're not going away, folks, because uh, this is exciting hockey with Sleepy Hollow, Edgemont, Valhalla, one and Harrison one. Harrison got on the scoreboard first, left winger. Andrew Golden, one of the uh, co-captains. With 4-12 gone in the first period, scored. Sleepy Hollow, Edgemont, Valhalla had a little trouble getting on track because of penalties to Scalia and Quinn. And Gottlieb tied the score at 3.08, making a beautiful move, which uh, we've uh, seen him over and over do that. Ca came in from center ice and beat the goalkeeper, Goldblatt. So we're tied at one. We're going to take a very quick break. Don't go away. We start the second period. Referee Tom Ciccatelli drops the puck and... Sleepy Hollow Edgemont Valhalla in white, the home team with the uh, blue and maroon trim. They're going from right to left. Uh, pardon, from left to right. Team in maroon, the Huskies of Harrison in maroon. They are going from right to left. Eric Kopicki on the big line. Kopicki, Chalemi, and Quinn. And, of course, Quinn will hit everything in sight, and uh, Kopicki goes down. 
Here's Shalemi. Kept in nicely at the point by Quinn. At the uh, blue line, rather. Close to the point. Number eight is Golden. He has the only Harrison goal. Skating in is Alcantara, the defender. Alcantara goes for the back pass, picked up by Garrow. Three on one if they hurry. Kopicki with it. They're on side. Kopicki takes a shot. It's wide of the goalkeeper. Goldblatt. Quinn dumps it in. Intercepted on the near boards, but uh, taken again. A shot from the point by by Quinn. Quinn's hanging around the uh, blue line instead of uh, going in, but uh, seems to be effective so far. 13.40 left. We'll have a face-off. Deep in Harrison end. The Gottlieb line is on from the point. Garrow takes a shot. A little bit wide, but Goldblatt covers up. We'll have another face-off. Harrison manages to get the draw. All right. We're having a little problem with the audio. Uh, pardon us, folks. We're okay. I think we're back in business now. And the puck sent all the way down. the audio uh, but uh, there was a goal on that uh, delayed penalty and the uh, goal was uh, put in by number 16 Brett Alcantara giving Harrison a two to one lead we apologize for the loss of the audio that uh, eliminates the penalty we've uh, switched uh, microphones Thank you for your patience. Number 44 on the ice for the first time, Tony Salapi, the sophomore. In front. Shot uh, by DeRio is saved. So Alcantara gives Harrison a two to one lead. Harrison playing very well. And they did it while a delayed penalty was called. Here's uh, Quinn with it. It's uh, taken off his stick. Intercepted by Maladosi. Heggy has it. Sends it down into the zone. We come the other way with Quinn. Maladosi once again. He gives it to Quinn. Quinn's on side. Quinn goes to the backhand. Nice defensive play by Dan Siegel. Stopping Quinn. 11-15. Harrison fans yelling for a uh, checking from behind penalty against Salanti as Christina Pauls went down. If they hurry, they have a breakaway with Andrew Golden. Golden. Hit nicely. Oh, a penalty called. Penalty called against Maladosi. So Maladosi, uh, that may be a hook or a uh, from behind. 
to Maladosi goes in at 10:56 uh, and puts Harrison, who already has one goal lead, on a power play. Coaches Wolfson and Barr send out uh, Gottlieb, Garrow, Scalia, and Rapp to kill this penalty. Siegel and Alcantara at the points. It looks like the Dorio line. That is Dorio with it. Kept in at the point by Alcantara. Gets it over to the wing where the shot goes wide. Dave Fraioli out on the uh, ice for Harrison. Alcantara, long shot, easy save. At least Engelson makes it look easy. This will go all the way down. It won't be icing because SEV down one man, 35 seconds left in the penalty. To Maladosi. Here comes Golden. Golden takes a shot. Save! And that was the toughest save of, of the evening. It goes uh, as Golden making an attempt for another goal. <whistles> 25 seconds left on the penalty. Off the faceoff. Saved by Engelson. On the ice now, Kevin Shalemi. And over the years, Shalemi has been the premier penalty kill, uh, penalty kill forward for this team. Garrow can keep it in. Shalemi does. That's offside as Garrow could not clear the ice. But the penalty is over, and Sleepy Hollow Edgemont Valhalla finds itself one goal down with 9.26 left in the second period. Puck is dropped by referee Mettler. Pauls gets it over to the other side. Alcantara partnered with her. On the backhand, Frioli! With Quigley coming in, almost was able to get a stick on it, tip it in. Alcantara, it's stopped by Hofgartner. Puck comes deep, Frank Scalia with it. Scalia making his return after being injured. This is Scalia. Is it over to Kopicki? Five is Garrow skating in. You don't see that too often. Garrow shot looked like it was going a little bit high, but Goldblatt caught it. And we'll have a face-off deep in Harrison End. Showing the clock. Shalemi on the faceoff, comes over to the other side, Maladosi, winds up, he shoots. Looked like Kopicki got his stick on it, trying to tip it in. Golden, nice crisp pass. And ridden off the play, uh, Kopicki takes care of Heggie, but Pauls comes in, her shot is stopped. Garrow can't get a stick on it. Nice play by Maladosi. Alcantara, he's being chased back. Good back checking by Andy Hofgartner as Kopicki goes down. Maladosi has it. He's on side. Takes a shot. It's wide. Over on the far side, it's Heggy. Heggy looks, gets it into the middle. Here comes a breakaway. Golden can't corral it. Golden going against Garrow. Garrow puts a check on him. He goes down, and there is going to be a penalty, and it looks like it's going to be a cross check against Golden. That's the preliminary signal, 734 at the time. Golden goes in. 
And Sleepy Hollow Edgemont Valhalla on their first power play. Let's see who they send out. Gottlieb, Tommy Prano, and Dan Maladosi. Scalia back with Garrow. Maladosi. Coach Barr said he'd get an opportunity to play offense and defense, but Tommy Prano winds up over on the wrong side of the blue line and will have a faceoff on the offside. Ten seconds have gone in the penalty so far. Scalia winds up, shoot, save. Scott Goldblatt with 108 left in the second period. 2-1, Huskies. First time these teams played, as mentioned earlier, 6-2. SEV. Maladosi. Gottlieb goes cross eyes. Garrow winds up for the slapper. Gottlieb. In the corner, he gets the puck to Scalia. Scalia makes a move around the defender, and a nice save by Goldblatt. Gottlieb in the middle, looking for Maladosi. He goes over his stick, and finally Harrison able to clear with 34 seconds left in the penalty. Good work on the power play, but no goal. Here comes Scalia. Intercepted and sent into center ice by Dan Siegel. Matt Garrow. Scalia, he'll dump it in. He takes a shot on goal. Goldblatt can't hold on to it and uh, covers up in front of the on-charging Maladosi with 11 seconds left in the penalty to Golden. And it's good to get Andrew Golden off the ice as well. Phil Serrano, the off-ice official tonight. Uh, he is uh, assisted by his lovely wife. Shot by Scalia, it's wide. Quinn coming in. Kopicki, picking at it, looking to uh, feed it in front to Shalemi. Penalty is over, Golden back on the ice. That's Golden with it. He's going against Scalia. Scalia goes down. Pass in front was to DeRio. Kept in at the uh, point by Siegel. Comes all the way around. This is Kopicki. Kopicki on the backhand. It's intercepted by DeRio. DeRio, it's intercepted by Quinn. Quinn tried to make a move and it's picked up by Kopicki. Back to Quinn. Kopicki and Quinn working with it. Garrow trying to get to it. And we come the other way. Nice defensive play by Golden. Golden going against Scalia. Golden and Scalia. And Engelson comes out, takes out Engelson's legs. And, and Engelson is on the ground in front of us. And... Uh, Engelson, who's back uh, for the uh, first uh, game since his injury, is uh, getting up very, very gingerly. He's a gamer, so uh, he's not going to want to go out. Uh, doesn't look like there's a penalty called on it, but uh, we'll wait and see. The uh, referee is now over at the booth, and uh, looks like there will be a penalty now. Maybe interference. Coach Steve Forzaglia arguing, and Golden goes in the box again. So Golden goes in at 5.07. I thought the uh, referee was a little hesitant on calling that penalty. But once uh, Engelson got tripped up, and uh, but I think we have uh, a double penalty now because Scalia is also in the booth. So they're skating four on four. And uh, nobody likes that. Stay 
Okay, you can hear some of the fans yelling bad call. I'm not sure which one they're, uh, they're saying is a bad call, but uh, neither team happy on that one. We're skating four on four. And back of the net. And Engelson manages to come up big and just manages to slide in. A little bit of roughing uh, down low by uh, Garrow and DeRio. Del Nero leaves the ice for SEV. Puck comes out to the center. Gottlieb on a breakaway. Gottlieb. Gottlieb and he's stoned by Goldblatt once again. Garrow stops it. Maladosi loses the handle on it. Checked by Pauls, manages to get it out to Gottlieb. So Gottlieb, two breakaways, could not convert. Sleepy Hollow Edgemont Valhalla down by one goal with 4.05 left in the second period. Maladosi dumps it in, made some nice moves there. Gottlieb has it, Prano right in front of the net. Couldn't get it to him. Gottlieb comes up with it this time. Gottlieb, spin around. Gottlieb still has it. He's still holding on to it. Prano's getting pounded in front of the net by Pauls. He gets knocked down, delayed penalty. Engelson comes off the ice, but the whistle blows with two seconds left in that double penalty. So in two sec for two seconds, it will be a five on four advantage. And then it will go to a, rather a four on three advantage, then it'll go to a five on four. Three thirty nine left in the second period time of that penalty. Shot! A blistering shot by Maladosi. Goldblatt makes another save. Right in front is Gottlieb. Gottlieb centers it. SEV on a power play. 117 left in the power play. 322 in the period. Maladosi deep. Gets it over to Gottlieb. Gottlieb again. He shoots this time. Another save. Out to the point to Garrow. Garrow sends it against the board. Shalemi with it. He takes a shot. Gottlieb working from the ground. Gottlieb is pushed when he's on the ground. Here's a pass to Golden. Golden coming in. Golden and Engelson. Nobody in the net. The puck goes on the side of the net. Shalemi takes it off the side of the net. Engelson not back in yet, but he falls on it. Great playing by Alex Engelson. 38 seconds left in the penalty. And Golden looking for that shorthanded goal. Harrison leading 2-1. to one. End to end action here at Westchester Skating Academy in Elmsford. Here's Scalia, headmans it to Gottlieb. It's a three on two if they hurry. Gottlieb has it, checked off his stick. Kept in at the point by Shalemi. Shalemi out there along with Maladosi, Scalia, Gottlieb. 14 seconds left in the penalty. Engelson drops it off for Maladosi. Maladosi skating here right in front of us. Golden trying to make a move. Scal Scalia takes it off his stick. Gottlieb has it. Gives it off to Quinn. Shalemi comes up. Penalty is over. Sides at equal strength. Sides at full strength. Here's Golden coming down the side again. Golden against Engelson. He goes for upper corner. Can't do it. Shoots from a tough angle in back of the net. And Engelson covers up. Whoa. Andrew Golden. 
putting on a show tonight for the Harrison Huskies. 145 left in the second period. On the faceoff, Freoli, he wins it to the Seagull at the blue line. Puck in back of the net. Heggie's pass intercepted. Shalemi goes down, but it's picked up by Kopicki. Hofgartner out with uh, Kopicki and Shalemi at this point. Scalia. His pass intercepted by Freoli. Scalia goes cross ice. Finds Kopicki, goes off the stick, and Paul sends it into center zone. Harrison with the puck intercepted momentarily by Shalemi. SEV gets it back. Cross ice pass goes over the stick of Kopicki on a pass by Hofgartner. Kopicki's bouncer right in front. And Shalemi, I think he may have hit the post. 48 seconds left in the period. Here's a race between Pauls and Scalia. No, no call on that one as Pauls goes down. I'm sorry, it's not Pauls. Pauls with a hand pass and gets called on the hand pass. It's not Pauls, it's uh, David Fraioli who went down and, uh, and made the hand pass. So uh, that uh, faceoff will come out to uh, center zone. Right in front of us, 37.5 seconds left in the period. At the end of the period, they'll uh, clean the ice, what they call cutting the ice. And uh, that'll give us an opportunity to catch up on the details of the uh, official scoring. Puck dropped in front of us. Dorio has it, but uh, Scalia clears. Quinn going for it. The uh, defender had it in his uh, uniform. Got checked by Quinn. And uh, there may be a penalty for holding it, for holding the puck, or it's uh, maybe Quinn. Quinn goes off and then throws his stick, and he may get a double minor for, uh, for that. I'm not sure what he got that penalty for. It shows one penalty. He's lucky he didn't get a second one. And unless Harrison scores, this penalty will carry over into the third period for a minute and a minute and five seconds. Nine seconds left as Siegel goes back to get it. And this should end the second period. And we will uh, start the third period with a penalty to Quinn for a minute and four. And uh, you're watching the educational access stations of Sleepy Hollow and Edgemont with the score two to one, a surprising score in favor of the Harrison Huskies. And uh, we'll be back with the uh, third period. And we're on. Uh, we have some uh, updates on the uh, from the score uh, booth, courtesy of Phil Serrano. Shots on goal. Harrison uh, is out shooting. Sleepy uh, Edgemont Valhalla, 30 to 26. Uh, Harrison uh, outshot uh, SEV 17 to 7 in the first period, but uh, SEV came back with 19 shots on goal against 13 for Harrison in the second period. The first goal was not scored by Golden. He did get an assist. Dorio got credit for the goal from Golden. The uh, second goal uh, got Lieb unassisted as we had it. And the third goal, the, score, uh, the second goal by Harrison as we start play. And here comes Golden once again, poked away by Engelson. And uh, Freo it was uh, Freoli, uh, not Alcantara. Alcantara did get an assist. That was the goal at 12.42 uh, left in the period. 48 seconds left on the holding penalty to Quinn. 
Gottlieb back on the ice. He was, uh, had a problem, and a goal! A goal! Gottlieb had a problem during uh, the, in between the period, needed the trainer, but uh, woke up and uh, set up Kevin Shalemi. So Shalemi from Gottlieb. Hard work paying off finally for Aaron Gottlieb. It's a shorthanded goal, so the penalty uh, still is up there. 38 seconds left in the penalty. 14-33 of the third period. We're tied at two. Gottlieb will be facing off. He has uh, Matt Garrow out on the ice with him. Uh, Andy Hofgartner, 21. And uh, Frank Scalia. Uh, referee, uh, the referees are conferring with uh, Josh Wolfson. I don't know what it is that uh, Wolfson's uh, talking to them about. He couldn't be too unhappy. Uh, But I think, I don't know, one of the uh, players are at the, at the far end of the bench, uh, let's see if we get that, Nick, is being administered to by uh, Coach Barr. And there's a holdup for that. And uh, maybe he's uh, just taking a timeout. Uh, I don't know uh, what's happened. But uh, I think we'll keep it here. We got enough uh, time left on the uh, tape, don't we? Maybe a goalkeeper change. Well, we'll see if, uh, no, it can't because Quinn's in the penalty box and he's the uh, goalkeeper, the alternate goalkeeper. So Engelson's back out. Everything looks like it's fine. So let's uh, keep going. 2-2 uh, two -two the score, 14-33 left in the third and last period. 37 seconds now left in the penalty to Quinn. Harrison on a power play. Gottlieb out there along with Hofgartner. Hofgartner dumps it in. Garrow and Scalia back on defense. The Dorio line to Golden. Nice play by Scalia, gets it into center ice. They have to regroup, 10 seconds left in the penalty. Golden along the far boards. Golden going against Garrow, looks for the wraparound, doesn't get it, shot from the point by Alcantara. Sent forward, nice play by uh, Brian Colasacco who was on there and he, uh, he mixes it up with Garrow and uh, the uh, teammates are pushing Garrow away and I think it will uh, either be a uh, double minor or uh, sleepy Edgemont Valhalla will be on a power play with a nice play uh, by the way by uh, young uh, Brian Colasacco and uh, Garrow goes in so Garrow and Colasacco offsetting penalties and uh, with uh, Quinn still in the box, but they're uh, skating four against four against four, so it might be a double minor. I'm not sure what happened. No, they're uh, now uh, skating four against four. The Quinn penalty is over. Sorry, folks. Quinn penalty just ended. Here's Golden once again. Now they're skating four on four. Scalia doing some checking. And Kopicki doing some checking and holding. No penalty called. I think Kopicki got away with one. Scalia sends it forward. Goes off the stick of Maladosi. Kopicki hitting everything that goes by. He better watch it. Maladosi steals. Maladosi shoots. Rebound. Maladosi on the backhand, and he scores! That threaded the needle. Went right through Brian Dorio, number 15, who was standing in front, and goalkeeper Scott, Bla uh, Scott Goldblatt. Dan Maladosi. And that's uh, even strength goal, three to two. 
Maladosi at 12.57. And Sledgemont Valhalla with its first lead of the evening. Here in the third period. Well, Goldblatt stopped all the tough ones, but this one scooted in. It may have hit somebody's skate on the way in. Here's Alcantara. He has some skating room, swings it over to the side to Freoli. Freoli goes down after a check by Maladosi. We come the other way. Here's Gottlieb. Gottlieb sends it forward to Maladosi. It's intercepted. Here's Golden looking for some skating room. It goes back to Jimmy Quigley. Intercepted by Maladosi. Maladosi sends it forward. Shalemi chasing. Golden with it. Golden looking for some room. Back checking by Gottlieb, makes him give up the puck. Harrison recovers in mid-ice. Alcantara sends it down the left wing board. Comes this way. Solberg on defense for Sleepy Edgemont Valhalla. Here's Gottlieb, it's a two on two. Gottlieb tries to make a move. Gottlieb comes up with the puck, but he couldn't quite get to it. Nice defensive play as well by Dan Siegel. Maladosi into the center. Gottlieb couldn't uh, quite come up with it on his stick. We come the other way. Here's Freoli. Freoli makes a move. Freoli saved by Engelson. Alex Engelson stops Freoli. Maladosi, his pass to Quinn. Big Neil Quinn gets it knocked off his stick. Shalemi, back pass to Quinn. Quinn has it. He should have a shot. He winds up. And coming back, nice play by Siegel. Got his stick on it. Right in front. Shot by Shalemi, looking for his second goal of the evening. 10.51 left in the game. Coming down the far side, number five is Pat Heggie. He sends it over across to Christina Pauls, who's in deep. Balls gets it over to Dorio. And Garrow clears. All the way down, it won't be icing because the referees said that they could have touched the referees. Tom Chicatelli and James Mettler doing a fine job tonight. Seagull. Quinn doing the checking. Good defensive work by Neil Quinn. This is the checking line, it's the big line. Shalemi, Golden, takes him off. Quinn does the checking. Shalemi comes up with the puck, but it goes right onto the stick of Siegel. Siegel dumps it in to the, on the right side. 9.50 left in this contest. Shot. Looks like it went a little wide of goalkeeper Alex Engelson. Cross ice from Siegel to Golden. Golden! Stopped by Engelson. Cleared by Maladosi. Maladosi sends it up forward to Rapp. He couldn't catch up to it. Tommy Prano delayed offside. Rapp gets back onside. Rapp coming in. He goes against Alcantara. Alcantara sends it across the boards. But right in front of us, Gottlieb steals it, and it's restolen. Mike Dorio looking for some skating room. Dorio being chased by Rapp. Rapp doing a nice job of back checking. Here's Pauls coming down the side. Looks like she's on a forward line now. Drops it off. Backhanded shot. That was by Dorio, and uh, Engelson managed to get his right shoulder up as uh, Dorio off the backhander went high. Here comes Gottlieb once again, and uh, whistle blows. And looks like there's some kind of uh, altercation with a couple of players going in. I didn't see it. And uh, Pauls goes in the box. That's our second penalty. That penalty comes at 8.51. Whistle blew behind us. Nick and I are looking at each other. I don't know. I didn't see it either. 
Gottlieb facing off. They got Gottlieb, uh, Prano, Shalemi up front, along with uh, Scallion Maladosi at the points. But Golden has it. He's out there along with DeRio killing the penalty. Pass to Shalemi. Shalemi spun around. Golden puts his hands uh, down. Says, I didn't do anything there. There was no holding. Maladosi. Shoots! It looked like it went in and out. Freoli on the chase, along with Scalia. Scalia knocks him down. Good check. 120 left on the penalty. Puck lifted in, sent uh, down. Maladosi. Prano sends it to Shalemi. Shalemi takes a shot. Stick save by Goldblatt. Dorio sends it forward. Picked up by Scalia. Good to see Frank Scalia skating so well after being injured. Headman pass to Gottlieb, intercepted by Golden. Puck comes down to the left where Alcantara has it. Once again, Gottlieb playing both ends of the ice. Here comes Alcantara. Alcantara trying to make a move. On the backhand, had Freoli right in front. Freoli couldn't get a stick on it. Drive by Golden. Looked like it was going high, but Engelson got his glove on it, then makes a save, and there's a whistle on the play, and I think we're going to have a penalty. Two players went down in the corner, but we'll see uh, whom the penalty goes against. It's a hook. And it looks like Kopicki is going off. So this will be a power play for the Huskies. Dorio is out there with his line. Here's Golden. He takes a shot. Blistering shot. Looked like... Uh, Engelson did get a stick on it. Looking for the shorthanded goal. No penalty. That was a clean check as uh, Gottlieb goes down. Garrow pounds it in. Quinn on the chase. Gottlieb should be able to come up with the puck. Good job on the penalty kill. Whistle blows. Three two on Maladosi's goal. Goal scorers, Gottlieb, Ma Shalemi, and Maladosi for SEV, and Dorio and Freoli. There you see the clock and some flags. Puck dropped. As we pick up the action, Gottlieb on the chase. Here comes Golden. Golden with some room. Somebody's going to pick him up. It's probably going to be Scalia. No, he goes to the outside to get to Garrow. And Eggleston covers up and makes the save. Boy, that golden is hard to stop as uh, SEV sends it all the way down. 38 seconds left in the penalty. A little confusion as Gottlieb manages to get his stick on it and puts it into the corner. In center ice. Scalia with it. Looks for Shalemi. Doesn't find him. It's Dorio. Dorio goes around Gottlieb. Dorio goes around Shalemi. Dorio puts on the brakes, and Dorio's shot is deflected off the skate of Garrow. Penalty to Kopicki ends, and we're at full strength. Five and a half minutes left in regulation time. Down in front of us, Dan Siegel. Garrow mixes it up with Dorio, putting on the brakes. Quigley, Quigley's pass goes wide to Freoli. Good opportunity as Kopicki goes hard into the board. It's a clean check by Dorio, no penalty. Here's Siegel. Siegel dumps it down. Engelson sticks it aside. Engelson 
across the uh, boards. Jeremy Kreisberg on the uh, ice for SEV. He comes up with the puck. Intercepted at the blue line by Siegel. SEV manages to clear. Here's Shalemi. Shalemi puts it into the middle, and good work by uh, Siegel, who uh, lifted uh, Shalemi's stick so he couldn't take a shot. Shot by Kreisberg. And uh, that was almost deflected in. Good work by Goldblatt. Freoli, nice poke check by Maladosi. Players go down, no call. Hofgartner sends it all the way down. Teams change, good work by that line. Mike Rapp is out along with Tom Del Nero. And Gottlieb is centering that line. Gottlieb uh, doing double shifting, maybe even triple shifting a little bit. Maladosi takes down Golden. Alcantara gets it over to the side. Golden right in front as Engelson covers up 335. Del Nero almost steals it from Golden. Paul's on the far side. As she's playing up front, it looks like Golden's at the uh, point right now. Golden tries to send it in. Goes off the stick, and SEV able to clear. Got uh, Del Nero going for it. Intercepted by Golden. He's chased by Gottlieb. He holds on to it and gets it over to Frioli. Nice defensive play by Scalia, but Golden has it once again. He takes a blistering shot from the blue line. Saved by Engelson. Pauls has it right in front to Freoli. Freoli turn around and a save. What a save by Engelson. 2.52 left in the period. Boy, that was the best save of the night so far. Both goalkeepers have been outstanding. Here's Hofgartner. He dumps it in and they'll change on the fly. Gottlieb will finally leave the ice. Del Nero is off and let's see who uh, is out there. Shalemi with the... Uh, Shalemi is out there with uh, Quinn and Tommy Prano. Big check by Maladosi. Intercepted by Pauls. Her shot saved by Engelson. Engelson was rusty to start, no doubt about it, but boy, he is back to his same self. Quinn. Just didn't have the angle as he came down one on three. As SEV a little bit uh, uh, more defensively oriented right now. Prano looks for a centering pass, gets to Shalemi. And this shot goes a little bit wide. May have been uh, off the goalkeeper's arm. Goes over the stick of Maladosi. He just didn't see it. And this is Matt Garrow with it. Garrow and Maladosi doing a fine job on defense this evening. Quinn skates in. Quinn and Prano out there. Gottlieb joins them. He'll center for that line. Prano trying to make things happen. Prano right in front. And Goldblatt jumps on it. Boy, Tommy Prano showing uh, a lot of improvement from last year and even the beginning of this season. He's, uh, he's skating well and uh, very aggressive. 121. We'll wait to see whether uh, goalkeeper Goldblatt comes out. And it looks like we have a timeout. So with 121 and a 3-2 lead for SEV, we'll be back with the conclusion of this game very shortly. I'd like to tell you about the rest of the schedule, but uh, that's a little bit up in the air. This is uh, the Saturday, February 8th game. There's a game scheduled for February 11th. It's the makeup of the postponed game. Uh, right back here against Brewster, but uh, that needs confirmation. Sunday the 16th, there's a game scheduled. Uh, 7 p.m. at uh, against uh, John Jay at the uh, Brewster rink. Uh, that needs confirmation also. In fact, the, sleep, the game against uh, Brewster may swing up to Brewster. And then uh, playoffs start Monday, February 17th. 
There's also a game Saturday, February 22nd, uh, but that game is after the playoff start and also needs confirmation. So check with the schools. And here's Gottlieb. Good play by uh, Goldblatt as uh, Gottlieb tried to go between the legs. So-called five hole. Goalkeeper can't leave uh, the ice. Nice play by Scalia. Golden almost intercepted. Here's Golden, and now the goalkeeper Goldblatt will leave and uh, send on that extra skater. Golden sticked away by Scalia. This will be icing, comes all the way down. There's that puck coming all the way down. There you can see the clock showing 24.6 seconds. And the faceoff comes all the way down to SEV end. By the way, those uh, uniforms look really good. We saw them in their uh, dark uniform just the other day, game against Scarsdale, which uh, we taped but uh, did not show. And another timeout is called, 24.6 seconds. Gottlieb taking the face off against Dorio. Shot from the point by Siegel. Saved by Engelson once again. Here's Gottlieb coming, looking for the shorthanded goal, and he misses. But takes time off the clock, only eight seconds left. A nice defensive play by Gottlieb. What a game by Aaron Gottlieb particularly on defense as it comes to an end with a three to two come from behind victory for Sleepy Hollow Edgemont Valhalla. A very happy bunch. Surrounding goalkeeper Alex Engelson who makes his return. Frank Scalia on defense makes his return. And Neil Quinn who filled in for goal comes out onto the ice so he makes his return. All three had outstanding games. Once again, the scoring. Dorio started and gave Harrison the one nothing lead. Gottlieb tied it uh, late in the first period. In the second period, Fraioli scored from Alcantara, and Harrison held on to the lead until the beginning of the third period. Shalemi, on assist from Gottlieb, made it 2-2 two to two in the early part. It was actually a shorthanded goal by Shalemi. Great setup by Gottlieb. And... Maladosi got the game winner with 12.57 left. The defense held on. Everybody came out, played some excellent defense. It was a real good defensive effort by the uh, Sleepy Hollow Edgemont Valhalla team. A great victory. It uh, breaks their losing streak, which uh, largely because so many of the players were out, not to make excuses, uh, brings their record to uh, overall 7-6-1. And, one. and uh, we await the playoffs. And as I mentioned earlier, the... Uh, the uh, games to the rest of the schedule, every one of them, which are uh, three of them, are somewhat questionable. So we'll try to get here for the uh, some uh, more games. And uh, we've enjoyed bringing it to you on this uh, late Saturday night, February the 8th. We'd like to once again thank County Appliance in Stanford and Greg TV in New Rochelle for supplying tapes and equipment for these contests. We'd like to thank Rob Ross up at the Westchester Community College who puts these games up on the Edgemont uh, station and for Jane Ampel who does likewise for Sleepy Hollow as we see the coaches come off. A disappointment obviously for uh, Steve Ferzaglia and Jano Barr along with Josh Wolfson, a good victory, although it was uh, in doubt because uh, they uh, were thinking, and I don't think they came out strong, and of course, uh, Engelson was a little bit rusty. Uh, they thought maybe because they had beaten Harrison earlier in the season, it would be easy, it wasn't easy, but they did come from behind, and they turned it on, and they looked real good. From the Westchester Skating Academy, this is uh, Jerry Fishoff thanking you on behalf of Nick Romagnano, who's been on camera. Once again, 3-2 the final score.